RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Oh, I love it when she comes in with her notes saying pest of the week. Dun, 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 dun. She hasn't got a mean bone in her body. It's Hannah Swartz, Kapiti Coast District Council's Green Gardener. Hello. Oh, kia ora, Tanya. You're looking at me like I'm a bit mad, but <laughs> pest of the week, white fly. How are mm. you going to go out and attempt to eradicate white fly? Good luck. Well, um, yeah, they can be really hard and... The thing is that um, I don't usually get them in my garden, but it's because it's been just so hot Mm. recently and even warm nights as well. Um, Because they're usually a pest that's found in greenhouses, in glass houses. Okay. Um, But they are a kind of aphid, so there's so many different kinds of aphids. Aphids just sort of cover all a wide range. You know, they can be green or black or white or, you know, some of them are even a bit woolly. But the white fly is one that's it's very, very small. Um, if you touch the leaves, it sort of flies up and it almost looks like there's just ash mm. floating in the air. They're so tiny, you can't really see the mm-hmm. bodies. They just look like bits of ash floating around. Are they sort of sticky? Um, they will make the plants sticky because they will suck the sap. So that's why you don't want them on your plants because mm. they're... they're Blood suckers, <laughs> <laughs> the killers, basically, yeah. yeah. And so, it's, and they love it this time of year because there's all this fresh, green, new, young, sweet, tender growth. They'll suck it, and then it will always grow twisted, you know, because yeah. it's been distorted when while well, it was young. Mm, so that can be a bit of a problem. I've got them, um, masses of them on the lemon tree, which is a bit unusual, but. What I'm doing is just getting the hose on full blast and um, they go on the undersides of the leaves so they can be a bit hard to catch Mm. but if you can get under the leaves or turn the leaves over and and blast them then they all fly up you know um, and it doesn't actually kill them but it really knocks them in their tracks. The main thing is you don't want them, you don't want, if you do nothing they'll you know, the population will just escalate. So at least if you're hosing them, you're um, you're managing or controlling them rather than just rather than killing all of them. Yeah. Which you would need a spray to Jeez. do that. And then, um, yeah. Anyway, um, you can also hang up yellow sticky trap sort of um, uh, either the fly trap type sticky paper or you can get special traps at garden garden shops or you can try a pyrethrum spray if you want but um i find the, the other thing i like about the hose it's well it's a really nice thing to do on a hot day is yeah, just exactly. stand with a cold hose and yeah. hose the lemon tree and the lemon tree likes you know it likes it gets a good water at the same time yeah it um yeah so it's win-win i didn't tree. still no they still make those yellow sticky yeah, Things yeah. Um, you can, yeah, try the garden centre. Yeah, or you can even make your own, apparently. Oh, well, there you go. Google mm. that. All right, I'm going to let you have a day off tomorrow since you've been battling the pests of the week. And we'll catch you on Friday. Thanks, Hannah. Mm. 106.3 BGFM.